Getting plants started in a cell seed tray allows you to protect them from drastic temperature changes and frosts. It keeps seedlings away from pests and means that you get plants started even if their outdoor growing space is not ready yet. This allows you to be more efficient with your growing space. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get vegetables started in a cell seed tray. The first step is to buy or make a fluffy seed mix. I make my own with a simple one-to-one -one ratio of topsoil and all-purpose compost. We have a video which goes into a little more detail which can be found up here. If you aren't able to mix your own, a sewing compost will work well, or you can keep it simple with a general compost. From my experience, it really doesn't matter what you use, so you may as well keep it cheap and simple. When choosing a tray, I would always recommend one with a large hole in the bottom. It adds drainage and allows for easy transplanting later. The size of the tray is dependent on where you plan on raising the seedlings. If this is going to sit on a windowsill, then a longer tray would be practical, with a tray below to catch any water which drains out. If, like me, you grow in a grow tent or a greenhouse, then you should get the largest tray for the area you have available. To save money, you can use both toilet roll tubes, cut in half and filled with soil, and also egg boxes. Fill the cell tray with your soil. You don't need to press the soil in too firmly, the seedlings will have an easier time pushing their roots in if it's left a little fluffy. Make sure each module is full though and there aren't any large air pockets. We want to now water this thoroughly, not only to give the seedlings a really good drink to get them germinating, but it'll also mean that the soil doesn't dry out too quickly later. You can do this by sitting the whole tray in a tub and adding some water which can then be left for around 10 minutes. Or simply water the whole tray a couple of times with a watering can. Sewing into the tray is very straightforward. For large seeds, like these courgettes here, you should sew one seed per cell. Lay the seed on its side and gently press it down into the soil. Cover with a little more compost and gently firm down to ensure the seeds have good contact with the soil. For smaller seeds, like this lettuce here, sow three to four seeds per cell and then thin them out later as the seedlings grow. This will give you a better chance for each cell to have at least one healthy seedling. Most seeds don't need light to germinate, so if this is going on a greenhouse or a grow tent, the tray can be placed on a lower shelf. If this tray will sit on a windowsill, place it in a room which is warm and doesn't get too cold at night. Check on the cell tray every few days and look out for the following things. 1. If the soil is becoming dry, give the whole tray a water. You can tell if the soil is drying out by lifting the tray and testing its weight. If it feels light, then it needs a water. You can also tell by the colour of the soil. The lighter the soil is, the drier it is. 2. If the seeds have germinated and you have some seedlings growing, they now need access to sunlight. Raise it up in the greenhouse or grow tent or move it to a sunny windowsill. 3. If the seedlings start leaning towards one side, turn the tray every few days so they grow upright. And 4. Thin the seedlings down to the strongest one. This can be done over time by cutting the weakest seedling at its base. When the seedlings have outgrown their cell, or when they've developed a few true leaves, then they're ready to be transplanted into the ground or moved into a pot. Using a stick or a dibber, make the holes which your seedlings are going to be moved into. This should be the same width and depth as the cell. Wet the seed tray before removing the seedlings. This will help the soil hold together. Using the flat end of a pencil, poke the seedling out of the cell using the handy hole in the bottom. Place the seedling into its new hole and press down gently at the sides 
to secure the cell into the ground. Make sure you water newly transplanted seedlings often while their roots are establishing into the new growing position. And there you have it! Growing on a cell seed tray is easy and allows you to better care for your seedlings. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and share with your family and friends. And if you have any tips for growing in cell trays, please put them in the comments so we can all learn and grow together. There's also a few videos here which you may be interested in. Happy growing!